My name is Judd Turner and I'm a sculptor here in West Eugene. This is my studio, The Oblivion Factory, and behind me is my current project, a phoenix rising named Viribus, which is Latin for strength. The phoenix is a sculpture that will be placed in the community of Blue River on the Mackenzie River, which was devastated by the Holiday Farm fires last fall and it is made primarily from materials salvaged from the area, from different properties that burned and, and lost everything. It's a symbol of the resilience and strength of the community as they rebuild and come together to be strong. Um, it is a phoenix rising from the ashes. It's play, a play on the, the myth of the phoenix, the legendary animal that uh, rises from the ashes of a fire, and it seemed like a really good symbol for the community. It is made out of material that I went up to the Blue River area and primarily and salvaged from different properties. It's got a lot of farm equipment, um, pieces of irrigation, water drums. It has as a heart some water taken from the Mackenzie River inside of a vessel. It hasn't been installed yet but it'll be at the heart of the Phoenix. It has crystal ball red eyes, which I acquired especially for the project. Those weren't found, those were uh, acquired as a special piece just to try to really make the phoenix vibrant looking. The phoenix is a little over 12 feet tall at the highest point, and so it really began to take on life once I had the framework sort of lined out. I used new stock steel to make a nice, strong construction steel that has been through a fire has lost some of its tensile strength so from an engineering standpoint it was important to use new steel for that and once I had it lined out and could see the size and the shape of it it really began to take on an identity and become exciting and have some momentum and I could see what materials I needed to really bring it to life. It's, it's got pieces that were important to the community members, just parts of their you know, property and parts of their functional lives before the fire and sort of repurposed them as art. It seemed like a powerful tribute to people living up there and rebuilding. Uh, when people see this in Blue River, it should be installed in right in the center of Blue River. Um, I want people to see it as a focal point and feel some inspiration and feel the strength and community sense of people coming together to create something from a traumatic experience and holding strong and that the, the art can help to symbolize that and create a sense of identity for the place and both memorialize what happened and also show strength and resilience and beauty rising from the ashes. Hi, I'm Judd Turner. I'm here in West Eugene at my sculpture studio, the Oblivion Factory. Thought I'd take you on a little tour. This is Boris and Piggert. These are my studio pigs. Say hi, pigs. We work here in a 2,000 square foot warehouse. A little garden and pig area here on the side. I'll take you inside. So I got several large projects going on in addition to gathering scrap material for future projects. I'm gathering a lot of chrome for something I can show you in a second. Here is my nearly completed phoenix. This is a phoenix rising called Viribus, which is Latin for strength. And this is made out of parts that were salvaged from the fires in the Mackenzie River area. And it'll be installed right in the middle of the city of Blue River at the end of this month. And so it's gonna be taken apart and transported and put on a concrete pad there. The heart of the Phoenix is a vessel of water from the Mackenzie River, the heart of the community. It's about 12, 14 feet tall. And the workspace is filled with a variety of tools, older work, and materials that I may or may not use. This is my primary tool, a small MIG welder, so a wire-driven arc welder. I also use a lot of oxyacetylene cutting, some other types of welders over here. And the chrome I've been gathering is, this is the beginning structure of a large horse. 
that'll be charging on two back feet there for a new casino development called the Flying Lark, which is being built in Grants Pass. And so it'll be installed as part of their art walk. So that's just in the beginning process of building the substructure. Something a little closer to completion is this nearly 10 foot tall Statue of Liberty replica that'll be installed at a library in Yuma, Arizona at the beginning of September. And so the Statue of Liberty replica has, the surface will be featuring a lot of found objects and parts that could be tools and things used to build America. Hand tools, farming tools, uh, a few rifle and gun implements. The torch will light up with an LED light that I haven't yet installed. A workbench here, a little bit of a mess, but that's pretty much how it looks all the time. At the studio, I need to be able to have all the tools to take things apart and put them together in new ways to make my found object sculpture. So a lot of metal cutting and metal joining technologies. This is a finished piece out of a more raw found object. It's a pronghorn antelope that has uh, been sold to somebody who lives in Seattle. So she'll come and pick it up sometime later this summer crowded space, but uh, it's fairly versatile. Most of the things are on wheels and can be moved around as needed. Good ventilation is key. A ladder to be able to get up and work high. A fume sucker. This is a ventilation machine back here, which particularly helps when I'm welding chrome. Chrome that's being welded puts off poisonous fumes, so it's really important to use a fume sucker and keep those away from the artist. Thanks for stopping by.